as you have probably seen the latest tool that i have been building is a carousel tool and you've probably seen it around reddit or on youtube shorts or maybe even i haven't posted it to the instagram page nothing gets traction nothing that i posted gets traction so i don't know but anyways i think it isn't a good enough place right now that i can release it and then add more things to it depending on the adaptation and how many people want to get in and how people receive it and stuff like that right so let me show you how it works first of all the 3d carousel to install these all you have to do is double click the drfx tool and then it will show up right here to install in this case override because i already have it installed you can go into the effects section if you want to use it on a fusion composition or on the generators so let me show you the generator first both of them are the same the generator works for images mainly like let's say you have an image ready you want to do the, you want to use it then you just have to drag that image into the the full the loader right here and do these for all of them so for it to actually start working you need to actually fill it up with images right um if you don't fill all of them up with images even though you are using let's say only five right here slides like in this case uh five sides then you still have to add something to the other cards otherwise it will stay red now i was actually experimenting with a control for it but i haven't been able to automate it yet i want it to be sort of like if the loader is has something then automatically change to these so then you can still see the cards when nothing is in there so but it's not working yet because there's something with the loader expression that i'm not able to figure out yet but in a future update that might be fixed so for now you have to add something in them in them like that okay after you have added your image then you can just modify the images right here like i showed in previous videos and then on the 3d section you can do the same movements and animations that I showed on the previous videos. If you want to freeze the cards, the card directions so that they are all facing outward, outwards, and you can do that here as well. And then if you want to spin the card, then you can the carousel. You can do that here as well, and then play around with all the different things that you want to do. Now, as I as I mentioned, these are all groups. So if you get some interesting ideas, like let's say you want to have one card float out, for example you can go into these composition and then add more things right here or modify things right here directly now a bunch of these things have already expressions so in this case let's say you want to add an animation of the card moving out again or at or at the, or at the beginning maybe right you can add another transform 3d and then just adjust these like that now make sure to put these on the 3d view and then go to the main rotation one at least or the transform one that way you can see how it's looking overall, like how it will look in the edit page, right? And then you can use that transform node and then adjust this accordingly right there. So in this case, the X is moving that way. I don't know where the front is right now because all the images are the same right now, but you get what I'm saying, right? You can add more things and modify things. And like, let's say, you want to rotate these as well you can do that and just play around until you get some to basically use it as a base to create some interesting stuff i got a bunch of ideas already of like you can detransition from something into a carousel then spin it out a little bit then it pops up another image and comes into that one but you have to be experimenting and playing around with it so that you can create those sort of things right there's a lot there's a lot of things that you can do with it you just have to be a little bit of you just have to think a little bit outside of the box to do it all right so that's how it works also in the fusion page you can adjust the individual nodes right here for the loaders or the actual media ends you can also change it right here if you want to drag a video into this one and then use the media pool section right here for example but uh, i wouldn't recommend it do it this way because you don't really have any control of the image later on if you want to do that like it, let's say you want to color something or just the color portion of it you have to do it here in the in the fusion page with like a color corrector for example if you want to adjust the media in that you have right so that's one of the things that you have to take into account depending on what method you want to use 
So let's go back and let me show you the way to use this if you wanna use videos. So the first thing you need here is a fusion composition of your videos. So what you would do is grab a bunch of videos that you have like this, similar to the split screens toolkit that I created a long time ago. Then you just select everything that you want to have in layers and then you can right click and then create a new fusion clip. After that fusion clip is created, you can go into the edit page or into the media section and then change the name so that you can easily identify these. Let's say carousel. Now that you have your carousel, you can go to the effects section instead of the generators, find these in the suave section or just write carousel right here. Then you just drag and drop these onto the fusion composition. And similarly to what I mentioned earlier, what you want to do in this case is first of all, since you're going to use the videos, there's this button right here that says image video switch. That's going to be off by default. Now I could probably set it up to be on by default since if you're working with them as an effect, then you're probably going to use this effect more rather than the generator. But that's what you have to do for all of them. Image to video, image to video, image to video, image to video. Okay. Now, as you can see here, there's the first one that's black. For some reason, the file name doesn't automatically, doesn't automatically change to zero right here. But if you change it to zero, it will be the first um, layer right here on your timeline. So we can move these around like this. Make these bigger. Now this one is black because there were only four layers right here that we use clips with. So I can go back to the scale section and change the size to four and it will automatically adapt. Uh, now there's this one in the back that also has a few things that need to be adjusted. So I'm gonna double click right here a little bit and then just adjust the size like that. All right, now as in the previous videos, the way that this works is pretty straightforward. You have the 3D translation elements right here. Then you have the translation for the vertical. And then we can bring this closer to your screen or further away. Then you can have an overall rotation of these, basically another layer of rotation for your carousel. This one as well. And then you have the actual spin vertical spin it, which is the most important one, I guess we have this vertical on the X axis as well, but it makes it look a little bit weird, but you can play around with it as well. If you want to do so, right, then you can have the freeze card direction option and then just adjust the scale of these in the card size so that you can adjust these and it looks a little bit more sort of like, um, what do you call this? Not in sync, but it looks a little bit better, right? If the cars, if there was too much space in between them, then it looks a little bit weird like that, right? So those are the basic controls. Uh, there's a few other videos in which I dive into the controls a little bit more, right? so you can check those out, but it's pretty straightforward. After you have selected all of these and adjusted all your media ends right here, or your videos, if you wanna make any changes to the videos, just open the view or the fusion composition of your videos in a timeline view. And here you can actually adjust the colors or change the videos that you want to use uh, and so on, right? So maybe you are happy with one thing that you've already done. You just have to save this fusion composition that you use into your media bin. That way you have all the settings uh, saved like these, and then you just have to go to your fusion composition and adjust the different media elements that you have right in there. And then for the animating part, it's pretty straightforward. If you animate though, you do have to go into fusion if you want to adjust the spline uh, curves of the animation, right? I haven't figured out a proper way of showing the spline tools right here for yet. Although I did once with an anim curves, but it didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. So maybe in the future, I'll figure out a better way to do that. So if you want to animate something, let's say you create a keyframe right here, then go a little bit forward, not too much. 
because we don't have that lower that first layer doesn't have something so it will disappear after you go there right so you have to make sure that all the clips are covering the extent of the fusion composition that you want to use so we have the movement here of the elements and the videos are playing at the same time right now if you want to adjust the splines open these in fusion go to the spline section and then you can just click on carousel and just fit the screen and it's going to be a little bit messy at first <laughs> because it shows up all the things that have expressions right so you have to find maybe deselect everything and just find the main rotation right here there it goes and then just use the main rotation and then you can adjust these with the t or the ease in and out values right so then if we press play or you can go to fusion and set up uh for some reason it doesn't let me render all savers i'm not really sure why that is but yeah so then after you're done uh, adjusting the ease in and out values you're pretty much set now in the previous video i showed how i built the carousel effect with the camera view sort of like Keanu, Keanu visuals so if you want to check that out i showed the case a little bit of the process of building something with these right so that is basically it i have a few ideas of people on reddit commented of things that i could add to it but before i put so much time into adding all those controls and effects into it i just wanted to release it already and then just take a little break of like a day of not thinking about it right um so that's what we will do if you want to get these this is the 3d carousel right the 3d carousel pro version the one that has all the controls if you want to download the free version for now it's i'm not going to update it yet i will soon but the free version is already on the freebies section on the swabby website if you want to download this one then check out the link in the description i think it's going to be so the early release price it's going to be just 10 bucks you think i should make it higher if you think i should make it higher let me know down in the comments if you think that's the that's a good price then go ahead and get it on the suave store yeah i'm just gonna set it up to be on affordable and probably yeah i'll set it i'll put both links right there in the description of this video so make sure to go ahead and download these and start creating some interesting things with the carousel tool that i just built for davinci resolve that is it for this video I'll see you in the next one here in Slavi. Bye.